31 launch managers and engineers will be polled for system readiness status and to proceed with the launch. This is the final status check before launch for all Delta vehicle systems, including the ground systems, the payload, and the U.S. Air Force Western Range. The vehicle systems readiness poll includes electrical systems, hydraulics, pneumatics, propulsion systems, flight control, and propellants. Some of the final processing steps just prior to launch include completing the propellant topping of both vehicle stages and securing propellant tanks, as well as pressurizing tanks to flight pressures. And launch conductor Ward Johansson is now ready to perform the final polling of the launch team uh, for a go to pick up the launch countdown. Status check to proceed with terminal count. MEQ? Go. MEQA? Go. HYE? Go. LOX 1? Go. LOX 2? Go. DP? Go. PNE? Go. BP? Go. ATC 1? Go. PEA? Go. Fuel 1? Go. Fuel 2? Go. TM1. Go. ATC3. Go. TM2. Go. FMA. Go. DE. Go. EEA. Go. GE. Go. SYS. Go. DSE. Go. Timer. Go. ALC. Go. ECS. Go. SC. Go. RC. Range, weather, and clear to proceed. USO. Go. OSM. Go. VSC. Go. AC. Go. Launch director. Launch vehicle is ready to launch. Mission director. You have permission to launch. Proceeding with the count. MEQ, establish swing arm lock pins pull. Active. SYS, establish record on change list activated. Activated. How many six minutes? And the Delta launch team has given a go for launch for the Delta IV launch vehicle with L-25 spacecraft on board. The countdown will resume at T minus four minutes in one minute, 39 seconds. At T minus four minutes, the team will activate high-speed cameras and bin begin transferring the launch vehicle from ground facility power to its own internal battery power. At T minus three minutes, 32 seconds, the common booster core propellant tank securing will be started, and the vehicle will transfer to in internal uh, power will be complete. CBC fill and drain valves will be closed, and the CBC lock securing will be complete. Also at 3 minutes 32 seconds, CBC LH2 and LO2 securing will occur in parallel. At T minus 3 minutes, the vehicle ordnance and flight termination system will be armed. The CBC locks and LH2 tanks are at flight pressure and at flight level. At T minus two minutes, the team will verify a second stage lock securing is started, and hydraulic pressures will be at 4,000 psi, and the CBC upper stage and FTS battery voltages will be verified. At T minus one minute 30 seconds, locks is secured at flight level. Also, the locks ground system securing sequence is verified, and locks GSC is secured at a minute 30 seconds. At one minute 20 seconds. The second stage LH2 securing is started. At T minus 60 seconds, the RS-68 engine start box switches to go, and range status is reported. At T minus 50 seconds, LH2 is secured at flight level. At T minus 15 seconds, the vehicle igniter is armed and the pogo is open. Liftoff occurs at T0. T minus four minutes and counting. And we are at T minus three minutes, 55 seconds, yeah, and accounting. Now. This is Delta Mission Control. T minus three minutes, 32 seconds. CBC propellant tank securing started. Vehicle transfer internal complete. Three minutes, 14 seconds. CBC pre-press started. CBC lock secured. Three minutes, seven seconds. T 
minus two minutes. You have Ordnance Army. CBC Press Bridge is on. CBC LH2 secured. Vehicle Ordnance armed. CBC locks at flight pressure and flight level. CBC LH2 at flight pressure and flight level. T minus two minutes. JPA script. This is Delta Mission Control. T minus one minute, 55 seconds, and counting. And the countdown continues to look good, progressing as expected, moving towards T zero as planned. T-minus 1 minute, 25 seconds, and counting, the launch vehicle, spacecraft, ground systems uh, are all in a go status. One minute and counting. Go. Rock report range status. Is rock range green? 50. 45. Second stage LH2 secure at flight level. Launch enable enable. GE main power off. Main power off. SRM TVC below down. T-minus 15, 14, Niners are on. This is Delta Mission Control at T-minus 10, 10 9, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 7, 6, 5, 5, 5 Delta Engine Ignition, 1, 0, and liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Delta IV rocket carrying the NRO L-25 mission for the National Reconnaissance Office. You're hearing the voice of Steve Agate providing launch vehicle ascent data. Altitude now 4 nautical miles, velocity 1,500 feet per second, downrange distance 11.2 nautical miles. Have we passed uh, Mach 1 at 50? Mach, and now at the uh, maximum dynamic pressure. Good condition control on the first stage. Standing by for SRM burnout. About 10 seconds from now. And we have burnout standing by for SEP. And we have separation. Good engine control. The uh, Delta vehicle now only weighs about one half of what it did at launch. 
This is Delta Mission Control at all plus one minute, 57 seconds into the flight. And as you just heard, Steve Agate confirmed jettison of the two solid rocket motors. The mission is continuing as expected. seconds in. Good engine control in the first stage. Very stable burn. Coming up uh, two minutes, 32 seconds. About one minute until uh, fairing separation. Good control in the first stage. Chamber pressure holding rock solid as we're approaching the three minute mark. Three minutes in, still looking good. Good engine control in the first stage and pitch on yaw, good chamber pressure. Standing by for fairing SEP. About uh, 10 seconds from now. This is Delta Mission Control at L plus three minutes, 50 seconds, and counting. We've just seen the successful liftoff of the NRO L-25 mission for the National Reconnaissance Office. Liftoff occurred as planned at 4.12 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time. I'd like to thank Steve Agate for his support of today's launch broadcast, providing launch vehicle ascent data. And at the request of our customer, we'll now conclude our live Delta IV launch broadcast coverage. Uh, for more information about the Delta IV, please visit our website at www.ulalaunch.com. And we'll leave you now with uh, one final look at the liftoff of the NRO L-25 mission for the National Reconnaissance Office. So on behalf of the entire launch team, I'm Don Spencer. Thank you for joining us. Have a wonderful afternoon. SRM TVC blowdown. This is Delta Mission Control at T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Delta engine ignition. 1, 0, and liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Delta IV rocket carrying the NRO L-25 mission for the National Reconnaissance Office. Chamber pressure on both solids, very symmetrical burn. You're hearing the voice of Steve Agate providing launch vehicle ascent data. 15 seconds in. Still looking good. Good engine control on the first stage. Chamber pressure beginning to drop off, as expected, on the main engine. Correction in the uh, two solids. Altitude now four nautical miles. Velocity fifteen hundred feet per second. Downrange distance eleven point two nautical miles. If we pass the Mach one at fifty, Mach. And now at the maximum dynamic pressure. Good condition control on the first stage. Standing by for SRM burnout. About 10 seconds from now.